Hello there folks and welcome to Chris Hall Motorcycles in Doncaster and welcome to our channel. So I take it everyone has seen the introduction explaining what we're going to do. So this is going to be part one. Part one of three folks which will include this showroom here and the corridor. So um, without further ado let's get cracking, let's, uh, let's do this. So we're going to do a walk around, uh, show you all the bikes we've got in stock in the showroom number one and in the corridor um, and then we'll do obviously a part two and a part three with the other the other bikes as well so um, yeah without further ado let's get started uh, let's start at this end of the corridor work his way up and uh, and then we'll get through uh, into the other rooms later on so watch this space for the other videos dropping of uh, like the classic showroom and I call this the adventure showroom because it's predominantly full of adventure bikes <laughs> simple as that so Let's start with the, co the corridor. In the corridor, we have the most important uh, bit of equipment in the building, which is the coffee machine. So if you ever come down, you want a brew, it's on free vend, um, and uh, we will get the brews in for you. So, uh, but anyway, enough of that. Let's look at some bikes. So we predominantly keep our, some of our vintage race bikes in the corridor, so we've got this beautiful MV. Uh, I've actually got some more just to my right there that have come in lately, but we'll do those in part two. So uh, if you like your vintage race bikes, watch this space for part two. So we've got this beautiful MV, we've got this nice Air Mackie. Uh, the R1 is actually a sold bike. That's just waiting to be, go out. Got this nice little Speedway bike. As we come down the corridor, uh, we've got Colin Edwards leather, leathers there, uh, which is always nice. Got this lovely Bulteco Matrella. Um, race bike as well, that's very nice. Uh, we've got the BSA 1967 BSA Bantam race bike, very high spec. Uh, I believe that was like a championship winning bike at some point. Um, beautiful bit of kit. Uh, we've got Bomber Harris's leathers and some boots down there of his. Uh, so we like the memorabilia. Uh, let me just spin around here. We've got a CB, we've got a Honda CB 50 Dream R. Um, this uh, they made 444 of these worldwide. Uh, these kind of got the HRC internals, really rare bike, real nice collector's piece that. Beautiful work of art. We've got the Suzuki Intruder 1500. That's sold, waiting to go out as well. I've just got to fit the panniers back on. It's just had some new tyres for the customer. So that's a really nice bit of kit. Sounds lovely as well that, but yeah, that is now sold. Uh, this has just arrived, this little uh, Motor Guzzy, uh, I think it's like a 75cc Guzzy race bike. And uh, eventually we will get around to doing full videos of all these bikes in more detail. Um, also, back in stock, uh, we've got uh, another, another GS, surprisingly. They grow on trees, don't they, GSs? Uh, this is the uh, 2019 R1250 GS Adventurer, fully loaded, beautiful spec. Uh, loads of extras on it. There is a main video on the, on the channel of that particular bike as well, so you can go and check that one out in all its glory. Um, we've got the 1970 Lambro, Lambretta uh, in the green there, you can't miss it. The elephant in the room if you like. Uh, sporting the little uh, Triumph scooter on the back. The little uh, Tina there, which is a nice little bit of kit. So uh, yeah, just love that. Love it. That's a tipper as well for those that didn't know, um, which is a bit uh, bit odd. Uh, in the window, we've got a real nice uh, Triumph T100. Uh, I think that's like a 1948. That's a lovely bike. We've got Guy, at, Guy Martin's actual bike from the TV show. Don't know if you guys saw it. He did the 24-hour um, pedal thing um, with uh, Jason Burrows, I think it was. Uh, Lovely, really high tech, all carbon. That is for sale if anyone's interested in that. So let's get back to bikes. What have we got? I've got a 2023 Honda GL 1800 Goldwing, uh, the ultimate in Tora, I suppose. So you've got a thousand mile on that bike. Uh, that's nice. That is a absolute beautiful bike to ride. Uh, also, another speaking of beautiful bikes to ride, that's the Indian Roadmaster, uh, 2015. Beautiful, beautiful colour. I've talked about this in the videos before. This, uh, like maroon red over the tan, looks absolutely fantastic. So, real big fan of that. Uh, 
as we work our way around, we've got the BMW K1600 bagger, beautiful engine. Love that 1600 engine. Uh, that particular black example there, only got 3000 miles on it. And it's got the full Remus system on it that sounds awesome. Again, there is a full video of that bike and startup that you'll hear. As we work our way around, uh, you have to excuse these rubbish ladders here. These go up to where we keep all the uh, spare parts for all these bikes. We've got the Norton Domi Racer, one of only 50. Yeah, quite happy to keep that. Love that bike. Uh, next up, another bike that I do like to ride, uh, the Honda CB1100, 2013. Lovely colour uh, in that like off-white with the grey and the black pinstriping. Very classy bike. Very classy bike, that. Next up, we've got the 2019 Triumph T120. Uh, Bonneville in the blue over the off-white again, I suppose. Uh, again, nice little bike. Uh, this bike shouldn't be in this room. I'm not sure how it's ended up here. I, th I think we'll blame Chris today for this one because he's not here. That's the 2020 GSX-S 750. 2,700 miles on that bike. 2,700 miles on that bike. I don't think that's actually advertised. I think it's new stock. So that's lovely. Um, let's kind of work our way around there, see if we can't get through to these, these few on the back row just here. Oh, excuse me a second folks. Let's just squeeze through. Not as slender as I used to be. I'm trying to do something about that, like we all are. Okay, 2013 Royal Enfield GT. Uh, only got 6,800 miles on the clock. Nice bit of kit. And in the corner, don't put Victory Octanes in the corner. Anyway, yeah, 2017 Victory Octane, only 11,000 miles. Lovely looking bike, obviously. Uh, a silhouette of the Indian Scout, which I've got over my shoulder. Okay. Um, this is um, Snake Motors. Um, these are for sale. They're not road registered or SVA or anything like that. They're just ornaments, if you like, the Chinese, but they do look quirky. Uh, above it, we've got this beauty. Uh, uh, a gentleman made this in his garage. Uh, it's predominantly made of wood. And the tyres are um, in pipe lagging, uh, just sprayed black. Uh, it's but like I say, predominantly made out of balsa wood, weighs next to nothing, but I tell you what, that's cool as. Uh, on, oh, wood and hoover parts. These are like hoover tubes and stuff. Real quirky, love it. Love stuff like that. Okay, folks, let me just come back through here. And it's a bit snug through here. Definitely need to lose some timber. Okay. Next up, we've got the Suzuki VL800. Uh, 9,000 mile on it, lovely colour. Like that blue. Next is the CCM Cafe Racer 2020. 3,000 mile on it. And just look at the spec of this. Um, absolutely outstanding. Yeah, love the gold. Love the gold wheels on this. Uh, that's just come in. I will do a full video of that very, very soon. Next up, the Motor Guzzi Grisso, uh, a bike I actually like to ride. I quite like the Grisso. You don't see too many of them about. They're a bit quirky. Uh, but yeah, big fan of the Grisso. In the white with the red detailing, looks very good. Uh, if you like your choppers and your bobbers and stuff, that's the Victory Highball. These are a 1700cc engine. Um, great with the red seat. I think that looks really nice. And that will wake up your neighbours. So if you're not a big fan of your neighbours and you want to go for a ride at 6 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, that's the weapon of choice for you guys. Okay, moving on over here, we've got the Kawasaki VN900. Uh, no, we haven't. I've just sold it. Sorry, forget that. A very nice lady's having that bike uh, very soon. So uh, that, is a, that is actually a sold bike. Okay, so we'll do this line up here. We've got these um, mock-up uh, bikes uh, again another chap made these in his garage it's just a an old push bike and again with some bits and bobs out of his shed to make these replica indians they look cool nothing too special but they look cool um below it though is something very special this is a triumph uh, daytona 500 sprint bike and that is lovely some real nice history with that bike that is um yeah very 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 nice next we've got the triumph thunderbird 1700 2010 uh, and again sub 3,000 miles on that bike that has been in a private collection 
and just not used nearly all its life. Next up we've got the Intruder 1500. Um, really nice bike, again only just coming to stock so it's not even on the internet yet folks. Uh, Triumph T100 2018, love the colour, love the orange tangerine over the cream and again I talk about that in the main video of that bike. 3,200 miles on that bike, that is a, a real nice bit of kit. Uh, Indian Scout, like I said it's a mirror image of the uh, victory over my shoulder now and again loving the tan seat over the, with the grey, looks real nice. 2016, less than 5,000 miles on that bike. Next up is the 2020 Triumph Speedmaster 1200. Uh, very popular bike, we do quite a lot of these. I uh, like the handlebars on these. Um, I'm going to call them like a beach bar. You just got the, the big arc on there, kind of like a beach bar, nice and low slung. Real comfortable bike. And last but not least in this part one is something very, very special, is the Norton uh, International, uh, 1950 International race bike, all correct numbers as it should be. Um, and it's got the rare or rare-ish 8,000 uh, rev counter on there as well, which I'm led to believe are quite a rare thing now. And it's road registered. Full video coming very soon of that because that's just arrived. Okay, folks. So that's part one. Uh, like I say, I'm going to follow it up with part two, part three. And um, so more to follow. If any of those bikes take your fancy, you want to know a little bit more about them, give me a call. 01302 760 967. Or you can email me, chrishallmotorcycles at googlemail.com. Alternatively, if you do want to come down and look at the, any of these bikes in person, you're more than welcome. Of course you are. And like I say, the vending machine is usually on. In fact, it's always on. It's never off. Um, so come down, have a brew, have a look at any of these bikes. And uh, yeah, you have to ignore those exhausts. They've just come in and they're huge for that uh, bike over my shoulder. They're going out tomorrow. So um, more than that, folks, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I know it's rubbish today outside if you're watching it on, you know, the same day it's released. Um, obviously, if you're watching this in a year's time, I don't know what the weather's doing. So uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, tick that bell for notifications for me, and we've got a lot more to follow. Cheers.